Right, but you know, as far as uh, taking care of scars, not everybody can make it to the doctor. So we do have some other suggestions that you can do uh, at home yourself. We have a pretty cool home remedy here. This is quite a, a at home this, quick this is quite a mix of uh, ingredients. We have wheatgrass, lemon juice, and finally garlic. And applying these things to scars are going to help with exfoliating. Mm -hmm. It's going to help actually take some of the discoloration out of scars, help with some of that uh, pigmentation. Right, especially the garlic. This is going to help with uh, exfoliation. But uh, do you really want to go around smelling like garlic and like a salad all the time? I mean, I don't know. That, that this, may this be home an remedy, issue. I, might, I mean, between the you wheatgrass and the lemon juice, your own. you might smell like a salad. And finally, yeah. something that we're using more and more of are silicone strips that you can buy over the counter in the pharmacy. We found that applying these strips to fresh scars, if you stick with it over a matter of weeks, you will flatten scars and get the, red, the redness out. Another form of scar that we see is stretch marks. And if you've had a baby and you had stretch marks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, you know, a lot of it can be prevented. I mean, it's something that women ask me about all the time. And actually, even though my son's 19, I'm still battling with it. Do we have any pregnant women in the audience who are, ooh, look at this lovely lady. Hi, my name is Alice. I'm 23, 23 weeks along, and my mom had stretch marks, so I'm really concerned about getting stretch marks as well. And my skin has been itching a lot, so I don't know if it's tied into getting stretch marks later. Well, it, it is very genetic. So if your mom has it, more than likely you'll probably have it to what degree um, can depend on a lot of what you do. And basically, stretch marks are, and this is just a little example here. We already have this preloaded. I know this looks, but what this is going to do is show you. What happens is the belly gets to four times its size. If you think about it, if you've seen a woman who's like 40 weeks pregnant, the skin is really, really stretched. So basically, this is what happens is it gets larger, 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 and the skin actually cracks and forms a scar. And they can get raised and red and itchy, just like you said, because it's, the skin is dry and cracking. So what you want to do is moisturize. You're going to actually moisturize for two to alleviate the itching. So you're going to moisturize like three or four times a day with things like um, cocoa butter, shea butter. A lot of women will use vitamin E oil. You can do oatmeal baths to try and decrease that itching. And my mother actually told me to try this as well. And this is Mother's Special Blend. And this is great stuff because it's not harmful to baby. It moisturizes your skin. It uses all natural ingredients, no preservatives. So this is something my mother told me to use it. I it used it. If I hadn't gained so much weight, my stress rush wouldn't have been as bad. But this is great. And so we're going to give you a little goodie bag filled with some of that mother's nice. special blend. How are you? Yeah. Thank you. The key is keeping that belly lathered up three to four times because I didn't do that enough. You just have to keep it lathered. And not only your stomach, but also it can happen to your hips and your breasts and your thighs. So have your husband lather right. you up. And what we're talking here is, is all natural. And, and, it's and probably all natural. It's not afterwards hurt. you're going to be breastfeeding, so you don't want to do anything else right. that baby you're may You're going to want to wait for the laser and all that. So anything. the best thing is the prevention, is keeping lathered up with those oils.